Hey everybody, it's uh, Eric here at LearnMax and we're going to be adding some more functionality to our synth. Uh, we're going to focus on uh, adding an additional oscillator. So now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move some things around. I'm also going to introduce the concept of encapsulation. So I'm going to take uh, our oscillator and I'm going to press Control shift e which uh, encapsulates it into a patcher. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, patcher uh, my oscill so that uh, I don't get it confused with anything else. And you see now it has, it collapses down and it has uh, basically just two inputs, the MIDI to frequency and the uh, wave shape. And I'm going to create a copy of that. And now I'm going to send MIDI to frequency to the second copy of my oscillator. And now I got to figure out some way of uh, connecting the two audio outputs to my filter. I'm going to use a, a built-in uh, uh, abstraction called M4 Live Balance 1. And that's going to be basically a uh, uh, adjustment of uh, uh, the balance between two audio sources. So let's take a look uh, inside there. Uh, you see real quickly what it looks like in there. Let me zoom in. And let's see. Basically, here we go, balance two mono signals with constant power. So if you look, it's nice. It's uh, It has a couple of extra things in here to kind of smooth things out. It, this part over here smooths the transition, makes sure we don't get any pops and things. So I have uh, two audio inputs and a control to uh, balance between the two. So I'm going to add a uh, live dial uh, that she's going to need to go, let's see, I think between 0 and 100. So let's change that here. Uh, I'm going to change the name to Oscillator Balance and the uh, range from 0 to 100. And we'll close that down. Uh, and let's see. Let's see. Let's try to get it to work here. Now, I don't have a keyboard to connect to my computer, so I'm using MIDI keys now. A little bit uh, weird. Let's turn on our secondary oscillator now. And I'm not hearing anything. Okay. Uh, I'm getting MIDI through. Well, this might be one of those cases where we need to save our patch. Every so often that uh, happens. So I'm going to close the patch, save it. And let's see if that helps. Okay, make sure it records. Oh, there we go. All right, so I will choose uh, one oscillator. is going to be a triangle wave. And I can adjust the balance between triangle and square now. And, hmm, let's see, that isn't quite how I figured it was going to sound. But you can hear me switching between, oh, I notice what's going on. Do you see my range here? Uh, <laughs> the live dial uh, has an interesting function. And you can actually change the exponents. You can kind of make it a logarithmic scale on there if you want. We're going to have to change that uh, exponent. I'm going to set to 1, and that'll be a nice linear scale. So let's see. Uh, maybe we'll even try to use uh, a panner style thing. Um, let's see. Oh, negative 50 to 50. That's not going to work. 0 to 100. Uh, hmm. Doesn't look exactly right, but we'll save it. You'll get the idea. So now as I move from between 1 and 100, 50 is going to be a balance between the two oscillators. And I can pan back and forth between uh, and kind of balance them to, how, to my liking. So now I have a, even that much more interesting sound going on. Nice, right? Well, uh, that's our, what, our sixth installment in our uh, quick synth for Max for Live. Tune in again. Remember, learn Max. I'm Eric saying goodnight.